Hey guys! Welcome back for another video. I'm always excited for a favorites video because uh, it's a chance for me to sit down and get to talk to you guys about what I love most, which is beauty, makeup, and skincare. Now, if this is the first time you're watching my channel and you like beauty videos, go ahead and subscribe because I do upload three times a week. So I do hauls, I do tutorials, favorites, reviews, all that kind of stuff. So if that's what you like to watch, then uh, Hey, join the family. Okay, well, we got a lot to talk about, so I'm gonna stop rambling and I'm gonna jump right into it. And the first thing that I wanna start with is skincare. Now, I am absolutely crazy about my Mia Fit right here, and I recently got a new brush head attachment. This is the Deep Pore brush head so it's supposed to provide a little bit more exfoliation to just kind of clear any gunk out of your pores i also use the uh, radiance one for like sensitive skin and i love that one but i felt like i needed something a little bit more because i was starting to get you know breakouts on a regular basis and i need to step my game up but this is a really really great brush head and it's also great for removing any masks like if you have a cream mask and it's kind of hard to wash off this is excellent for going in on the you know uh, low level setting and just removing that and breaking up the mask on your face um, i highly highly recommend this so next up I want to talk about what I use to take off my makeup. Now the first step is I use a cleansing oil. Love cleansing oils. And I've been using this Derma E uh, Nourishing Rose Cleansing Oil and it has Argan Oil and Jojoba. I love this. It's so gentle on the skin. It smells great, but it doesn't have any like crazy artificial fragrances that are going to, you know, make your skin like go nuts. And um, I feel like a little bit goes a long way. So it's taken me a while to kind of work through this, but this is an amazing, amazing cleansing oil and it washes away everything really nicely. And then I always go in with a makeup wipe just to get anything else left on my face. But uh, yeah, you guys gotta check this one out from Derma E. I feel like their products never disappoint. So speaking of Derma E, <laughs> I still have more stuff that I wanna talk about. Um, okay. If you like micro dermabrasion scrubs, this one from Derma E is the ish, okay? And as far as masks go, it's super quick to use. It's basically a citrus type scrub, and um, you open it up here, it's just white. First of all, you only need to use this for one to two minutes. And I say one to two minutes because depending on how sensitive your skin is to this type of stuff, maybe you'll turn red, maybe you'll get irritation if you leave it for too long. But basically, you put on your face and you just scrub around for one minute will do. Sometimes I'll do two minutes if my skin is a little bit rough. But it is amazing because as soon as you wash all that stuff off, like your skin feels so soft. My skin literally felt like a baby's bottom, a baby's booty, okay? And those booties are soft, so you know I'm not lying. You know, I feel like as your skin gets congested over you know a long time, if you don't get regular facials, sometimes it's just nice to go in with a microdermabrasion scrub to just kind of like, you know, take off that like a top layer of gunk and reveal this soft smooth radiant skin so um yeah i i love this stuff now we're still talking about derma e <laughs> i have their radiance toner and this has glycolic acid and rooibos now i first tried this out when i was at gen beauty in san francisco um it was in the little like goodie bag that they give but oh my god okay all you have to do is take a little bit of this stuff on a cotton pad and wipe it on your face. This is like a toner, you know? So after you've cleansed and all that jazz, and you have to keep using it like every day, but you'll notice your skin will start to become actually radiant. <laughs> 
surprising, I know. <laughs> but um, I love that it has glycolic acid because glycolic acid is an exfoliator. So, you know, if you do have sensitive skin and you can't harshly exfoliate your skin, and it also includes a blend of rooibos and rose hip, so that helps to revive skin and give you that radiant complexion. But this stuff really, really, really does work. So, um, I recently discovered this little goodie here. This is from Sunday Riley. It's called their Ultra Clarifying Face Oil. So this is really interesting. I kind of needed something for, you know, when I have the occasional breakout of spot treatment. Now, um, it does have 1.5% salicylic acid. It's supposed to help clear congested oil. So they do recommend putting this little guy on your skin after you've moisturized your face. So this is like the final product before you go to bed, not during the day. Now what I do is I just take like a tiny drop and this is really interesting, the oil itself is actually green, which is pretty bomb. And it has this little dropper here, and I just kind of use that as spot treatment and dot it around. This is because this uh, specific product can dry out your skin, so that's why I like to use it as a spot treatment. But if you're really oily or you have like really bad acne, I think that's gonna be really nice for like drying out any like active breakouts that you have. And um, they do say that if you notice, you know, your skin is becoming really, really dry to just back off on it. But I find this is excellent for a spot treatment. And also I think the actual oil that you purchase, the full size is obviously a lot bigger than this. But I got this as a kind of perks point reward from Sephora. And this little size right here is going to last me a long time anyway since I'm just using it as a spot treatment but I just thought I'd recommend this for you guys that have a lot of breakouts and are looking for something and Sunday Riley is a really great company they have really high-end skincare so I think you guys will like this I recently discovered this guy right here this is the skin food egg white pore mask and I know I'm so late to the game on this one <laughs> but basically this is supposed to kind of clear out your pores and also diminish the size of your pores so if you have a lot of like bigger pores it is a hereditary trait so I mean there's nothing you can actually do to shrink them permanently but if you use something like this this is really nice and it also just kind of brings everything that's like deep down in your pores to the surface so that way you can get rid of it faster um, but there's nothing but good reviews about this stuff online you just have to make sure that you use it like on the recommended one to two times per week and you stick with it otherwise if you just use it once every blue moon you're not going to notice a significant difference but I do love this stuff and it goes on it's just like a white mask and it's like a cream mask and it just dries down slightly but not like a clay mask. Um, doesn't dehydrate the skin or anything. It makes your skin so radiant in the morning, I promise you. <laughs> and moving on to moisturizer, I recently got the chance to try this uh, Rose Refining Hydra Collagen Cream from Sue AE. I love Sue AE products. I love their masks, I love their toners, their cleansing water, and this cream smells so good. It smells like, uh, like heaven, like you just walked into a rose garden. And um, it's actually very, very moisturizing, so a little bit goes a long way, especially if you're oily, but remember, if you're oily, you still need to moisturize properly. And I love just applying this to like my face, my neck, my like collarbone area Ugh, it just smells divine and the best part is that it has anti-aging benefits like the collagen that's in it and also skin nourishing benefits and it also has a vitamin C and vitamin E along with antioxidants so this guy has just so many good things for your skin okay and now we get to move on to makeup so the first one I want to talk about is a primer this is from makeup forever their step one hydrating primer and it's kind of dirty because I use it so much now depending on the time of year sometimes I'll use it all over my face but lately what I've been doing is I've been spot 
priming. So I treat my oily T-zone differently than the rest of my face. And under my eyes, my skin is actually pretty dry once I, you know, set my concealer and stuff. So when I put the hydrating primer on, it's a really, really nice base and it kind of seals in that moisture. So, I mean, if you have any dry spots in your skin at all, this little guy is great. And I've used it during the winter time as well and I can't say enough good things about this. So speaking of priming, um, I also use this little um, eye cream primer thing. It's from Pure Cosmetics. It's their Hydrogel Lift. Now, you can use this alone if you just want to moisturize under your eyes, but it's also really great for prepping the eye area. So what I'll do is, you know, like before I do my eye makeup, I'll put this on there just to add some extra moisture to the area because once, you know, you put the makeup on, if your under eye area is dry at all, it's just going to look cakey and you're going to see a lot of lines and creasing and stuff like that. So this is excellent for giving that area the moisture and there's been times when I have an added primer on top of this and it's performed wonderfully as well so I would highly highly recommend this so keeping with face products and prepping the skin prior to makeup I recently discovered the MAC uh, strobe cream and I know like I'm hella 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 late <laughs> but the strobe cream is amazing so how I use this is I prime my face appropriately and then I put the strobe cream and it's just like this sheer like luminescence and it's not glittery and chunky but when you put your foundation on top oh my goodness it just kind of looks like you're like shimmering you know like it really makes it look like you're glowing without looking oily and it has not increased the oil in my t-zone or anything like that it's so so beautiful and the reason I started um, using this is because I was watching a snapchat and Desi Perkins was in it and then she was talking about her makeup later on and she was talking about how she's used the strobe cream and I was just surprised at how much her makeup looked like skin. Like it didn't look like she caked on a lot. So I was really really impressed and I was like damn I gotta get me some of this strobe cream so I can be glowing like her. And it does, it really does work. I got the travel size, just the one fluid ounce because I won't be using like a lot on a regular basis but um, I'm just like ugh. I'm so in love with it. <laughs> Next, we've got this uh, Wonderland mascara from Ciate London. Now, first of all, the packaging of this guy, it's, it's like a hefty mascara, okay? But I love the actual wand of this. It's just really, really great for separating your lashes and the color is like true, true black. It's just, it's amazing. I love it. And I just like, I'm such a sucker for packaging. <laughs> like as long as the product works and the packaging is beautiful, I'm like, oh, how, how awesome. So I'm kind of slowly making my way around like Ciate's products and I'm really, really impressed. They're a relatively new, um, well, I mean, the company has been around, but they're new to the makeup side of things. I believe they had nail polishes, but they've got some really, really cool stuff coming out and I really gotta get my hands on those uh, glitter liquid lipsticks. They just look so fun, but I really, really, really love this mascara. Also, I have been dying over these eye sticks from nude sticks so these two shades uh, the olive green I've used in a tutorial not too long ago and I also have the copper foil color and they are just so stunning and so easy to use and what I love is each time you purchase one of these you also get a sharpener with it and a little like carrying case their whole thing is like they're really about girls on the go so all of their products are like sticks so it's like easy to kind of chuck in your purse and carry it around with you and you know do your makeup on the go which I like that concept but these colors are just so uh, vibrant and uh I don't know like I was just really drawn to them and when I swatched them I was like okay I gotta have them <laughs> so we gotta take them back to the drugstore for a little bit and now this Milani it's their contour and highlight stick 
Now, the um, actual contour side is really amazing, and sometimes I feel like it's hard to find a contour stick that has the right undertone, and I like my contour to be warm, not cool toned. Cool tone just makes me look like casket ready. I'm like, uh uh. And I just love how thin this is. It's not overly thick, so I can be as precise as I want, and I can really go in and shade more if I want that area to be more contoured. And there's still like a good amount of products. Like, I mean, I've used it quite a bit, and I haven't even put a very big dent on it anyway. And the highlighting side, the cream highlight, you guys, is so beautiful. I know it looks kind of too peachy, too orange, but once you blend it out with your finger, oh my goodness, it really does look so beautiful. And you can build it up if you want a blinding highlight or you can keep it nice and subtle. I feel like this little guy here is perfect for work because it's inexpensive, you can use it every day, it's not gonna have you looking crazy, it's just, it's very, very beautiful. Okay, so now we gotta talk about some of my most loved products from this month, and that's the Desi and Katie Dose of Colors collection. The first one that I wanna talk about is the Girls Eyeshadow Palette. Now, when you guys look at this, I don't know, you know, when you see it on YouTube or on Instagram or whatever, it probably doesn't look like, oh, like that's amazing, but in person, these eyeshadows just look so beautiful. They're so different from anything else that I have in my collection. So I'm really glad that I purchased these. And when you use your fingers to apply them, they go on so intensely. Um, you know, alternatively though, if you're not somebody that likes to use your fingers to apply eyeshadow, maybe you might have a problem with that, but I feel like that's just something you get used to, you know? I've just been like all about the glow this summer, all about the glow. And these two highlighters right here, Fuego and Mirame are absolutely beautiful and they absolutely are brown girl friendly. Honestly, on my skin, I mean, you can't really see too much of a difference. I think maybe Mirame has slightly more of a like gold reflex, like the gold reflex are bigger and this one is a little bit more finely milled, but they are just both absolutely beautiful. When that sunlight hits it, Girl, girl. In fact, I will insert a clip over here of me wearing Mirame and I literally like leaned back in my car to position myself in the sunlight and I was a glowing girl. I was glowing. Also, what I've been loving is the um, over the top gloss. So when you actually like take a look at this and you're watching videos and stuff the gloss seems like the last thing that you would actually like think oh i need that you know but the thing is it's like the finishing touch for every lip look literally if you just want to put on a lip liner and put over the top on top of that like oh i wish you guys could see the subtle like gold reflex oh man it just makes your lips look like juicy as heck um definitely like a staple i'm almost like ooh, do i need to like purchase a backup for this you know because now i just feel like i can't live without it <laughs> you know <laughs> so now i want to talk about what i've been using to keep my brushes clean because as much as we love that makeup we got to keep our tools clean so that they don't deposit bacteria on our face nobody wants that <laughs> So I've gone through a lot of different brush cleansers in the past and when it comes to stuff like my foundation brushes, I can never find something that can get them 100% clean. Now let me show you what I've been loving this month so far. So I recently bought the Perian Spirit Brush Cleaner. So it's a professional makeup brush cleaner, you know, for like deep cleaning quickly, spot cleaning quickly, all that jazz. Now what I love is this is actually clear. It does have a citrusy scent. So if you're somebody that's sensitive to smells or anything like that, this might not be for you. I like the scent of it. I think it's amazing. Now all you have to do is you can either put this in a spray bottle and spray 
spray your brushes and just kind of like use a paper towel or something to get the gunk out or for smaller brushes you can dip them in like I have a little tin that I have uh, like right here and I just dip them into it just a little bit you don't want to get the brush soaking wet but just a tiny bit and it will get it off so quickly like when I tell you I have so many brushes and it literally took me it like cut down the time in half as far as how long it takes for me to clean my brushes so I was like amazed I was like oh my goodness now I can't live without it. <laughs> so I really hope you've enjoyed my favorites for this month. Um, there are so many more other products that I've been loving, but I didn't want to keep blabbing and blabbing the whole video. <laughs> but um, let me know what you guys have been loving this past month of August, which I can't believe is over. Like, where has the year gone even? Um, but yeah, check out these videos right here if you've got some extra time and you want to chill with me some more. And as always, I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye!